Hey, what's up guys? Books Nelson here back with another video. And today we will be breaking down these new LeBron James cards as well as everyone else here. I'm going to do the reward cards here in the same video because there's a few of these cards we're not going to spend too much time on. And let's start right from the beginning, get straight into this content. So as predicted, this LeBron James card is pretty similar to the all-star LeBron James card, which is still usable to this very day. Uh, let's go ahead and, you know, compare those two cards right off the bat. So let's see, uh, 98 all-star boom. So this is free LeBron compared to the all-star you see here, uh, a gap in shooting that you can easily close with a shoe. Nothing here matters. Plus 10 post moves in the all-star plus 10 defensive consistency. Doesn't matter. Basically an identical card to the all-star LeBron James. You see here, the animations exactly the same. Um, so this is good news because now you have a usable LeBron James card that you get guaranteed today, even if you don't open a single pack, which is at the end of the day, a W. Is he slightly outdated? Uh, I, see, so here's the thing. A, a lot of people are going to, you know, say, oh, you know, this car is trash, blah, blah, blah. I don't say that for a couple of reasons. Number one, this LeBron James card is still a LeBron James card. And that means that he has the extra juice when it comes to going to the basket and stuff like that. He's going to defend super great. And, and do all of, do all of that stuff really well. Oh, I will say there's one big difference. Uh, no tray escape. That's different, and that that hurts the card a lot actually. So the free one doesn't have tray escape. I do still think he's usable, especially now. This is very important. Before I discovered that in and out crossover tech, I would have called this a very very big deal. But because he has the John Wall. If you know how to do the new tech, which is on this channel right here, I'll even throw it in the description. You don't need the tray escape. You don't need to play with the tray escape in order to be effective. Before I knew how to do that, I would have needed the tray escape. But now I can still do everything I need to do by just applying that in and out tech with this John Wall. You can still do all the same stuff you would do before. Now it makes a lot less of a difference. And this is always going to be the case. This is why nerfing the momentum dribble was such a big deal because the momentum dribble was a universal dribble. And as long as you had a certain ball handle requirement, you could do the move. Well, once the momentum was nerfed, then all of the individual SIGs became way more important. But now, like the escapes, which allow you to do the escape cross, but with the in and out cross, um, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a brand new move that I stumbled upon while doing a Devin Booker thing. Haven't seen anyone do it. In my hundreds and hundreds of rec games and online games, I've literally never seen anyone do it in watching the game. And it's a great, great move that uh, you guys can learn from watching that video. But once you, when a universal move like the momentum dribble that or, or the misdirection, something like that, when those moves are good, that means everybody with a ball handle gets way better. So, again, before him not having tray escape, I'd have been like, ah, oh, this car stinks. You can't do anything with it. But now you have a way to move and groove if you watch that video. And if you weren't doing L2 canceling before, no worries. Much easier move that you can use to consistently attack your opponent. Just keep mixing that in with this John Wall moving step back and you're good to go. And basically you have all-star LeBron James because the bigger thing here was this very quick jump shot. In terms of between this card and the free domination one, that was much more important. If you're going to pick between two things you will lose, it's between those two things. But other than that... Very similar. And even badge-wise, okay, he's missing corner specialist. Nobody cares. Ankle breaker, nobody cares. Do we have new gen? Yeah, we do. Um, drops, yes, yeah, some, some nonsense uh, post badges. Nobody cares. So, yeah, all of the stuff that's important, these cards are virtually identical. Not having tray escape is a little bit, a little bit of a bummer. But if you don't want that to affect you too much, I'll say it for the last time. Go ahead and watch that video, and you're welcome. <laughs> all right, so we're going to keep it moving. Um, so we looked at one LeBron. I'm not going to cover the rest of the LeBrons just yet. I wanted to do, to do the free one first, just so we knew what we were getting into. But I am really curious about the rest of these cards that are in the set. All right. So Duncan Robinson, 6'7 at the two guard, um, 88 acceleration, 84 strength. Both of those. I mean, the acceleration, we don't really care too much about. It's the 90 speed. Athletically, this car is definitely a little bit of a struggle because he's not that fast and he's not that strong. 
shot sh- is okay. If, you know, in real life, he's an amazing shooter. In the game, he's just fine. So I don't know about this card. Let's see. Um, okay, so he's got Booker, size up. You don't love you. Do love the Kemba escape. Michael Jordan dribble style is excellent. KD breakdown moves. All right. KD has a cool little move in his breakdown set. James Harden moving step back. Yeah, I don't know about this card. This card is very, very mid. Um, he's just mid to mid card. Is he terrible? No, I can't. It's just hard for me to see him playing. Like uh, what I judge it by is I look at the free cards at your position, right? And this is why I'm so glad I, I did a no money spend account just to just to build one account from zero, no VC, um, no pre order anything. And no pro pass, right? Just to see what it's like. And at this time of year, just doing the playoff stuff, you can get cards better than this guy just by doing playoff and spark stuff like that. Um, to Reggie Lewis, my God, I expect Reggie Lewis probably way, way better than this Duncan Robinson. Uh, so unless his release is just amazing on very quick, this card is the very definition of mid. I'm going to keep it moving. Darius Miles, 6'9", small forward. Um, it's a little late in the year to be overly enamored with a 6'9 small forward because many of them come that way, but that's still a good size for the position. We see the athleticism doing faring much better than Duncan Robinson, which we appreciate. 89 three ball. Speaking of that, Reggie Lewis, they're starting to do this now where they're putting out cards that like the three's not amazing, which is okay. Um, you can get it, you know, use a shoe, get that up to 93 uh, and, and you're fine. Uh, 92 three point is just fine. And, and I would also put up the mid just in case. Can you get a shot take? I don't know if you, you know, he's going to get slash take most likely. Um, defensively, looking solid, looking solid defensively. Again, that 92 strength is the main thing. I'm putting a shoe on this guy, 100% putting it on shoe. I'm putting it on shoe. It's early, guys. <laughs> putting it on strength and uh, putting it on shoe ting is what I meant to say. Uh, and and he will be good to go. Let's check those badges real quick. And I didn't take just for the sake of thoroughness. I'm gonna check Duncan Robinson's badges just to make sure. But the main thing with him is like his stats are so iffy. Yeah, I mean, look, he's missing quite a few playmaking badges, but he's good to go. Other than that, he's got a movable enforcer, so no bad news there for him. And the same thing here, we got Hall of Fame movable on Darius Miles. So the animations are what matters. Uh, Jared Allen and Chris Boucher on very quick. I don't know. Is that Chris Boucher? Is that how you say his name? Um, but yeah, let's see. Kemba, De'Aaron Fox, Michael Jordan. Excellent dribble combo. Uh, moving step back, Steph Curry. Good snatch back. Good snatch back. He doesn't have a good hop back, but he has a good snatch back. That's probably the third best in the game, to be honest with you. Um, probably put Luka and Harden after that. Moving spin Penny, which is good news. All of these are pros, so we got to see what these are, but hopefully he has one of those elite behind the backs to close up a very nice animation package. Normally in a Pro 2 hop jumper, you'd love to see those two things reversed, but LeBron layup package, outstanding. <laughs> Funny enough, this card in many ways is like basically a LeBron James card, <laughs> like what you would want out of a LeBron James card. So, you know, a very attainable version of that archetype of player, tall, Good handles, good slashing, good physicals, whereas the shooting is just okay. And the main thing being, we got to see what this looks like on um, very quick. I don't anticipate it's going to be fantastic. I remember shooting around a little bit with the Ruby Darius Miles, but I don't remember my impressions of it at the time, unfortunately. So uh, he's got six comments. Let's see what they talk about with the jumper. Elite. Okay. Crazy good. New jumper. Okay. So there you go. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we got to see what that jumper is like, but this could be a W right here. And, and again, I think of my no money spent. This is a card that could easily play at the three for me. All righty. Cam Reddish. Let's see. So we so we know Cam six, seven at that spot. And defensively, he's going to be really, really great, which is strange because Cam Reddish is not that good of a defensive player in the NBA. Like he plays passing lanes well. But that's it. It's not like he's like, like they keep treating him like he's like this great defender. Uh, he's not. Uh, and what I mean by that is, like, even early in the year when the cards, like, play like themselves, like, oh, yeah, the big two-way player, Cam Reddish, he can't even get on the court. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 87 strength is good enough, good enough. 93 speed, actually on a little on the low side for Cam Reddish uh, at this point in the year for Opal, who who's not a great shooter for an Opal who, you know, with 87 strength without great athleticism, um, you know, 
having that eight, that 93 speed holding him back as well. But does he look terrible? He doesn't look terrible. Let's look at the badges real quick. Uh, so he's missing open looks. So you, it, so you definitely want to give that to him. Other than that, he's good. Again, defensively, he looks really solid. I have to say, he looks pretty solid. Um, T-Mac and Michael Jordan combo for the size up and dribble style. So we are cool with that. Uh, Curry Escape is okay. Uh, you can work with Curry Escape. It's not ideal. Another James Harden step back. That seems to be the flavor of the week. That seems to be what they've been doing. Like one week, everybody was getting jaw size up and stuff like that. They seem to every week be given cards like this one SIG that they like to deal out to everybody who's not getting like the best SIGs. And th which, you know what? I don't even necessarily mind that because in some cases, that's a good idea. I guess just right now, I don't necessarily love the SIGs that they're choosing to do that with, but this could be really good news because what I really want is for the cards not to get all the same exact animations. Every card doesn't need the number one animations in the game. The number two and number three animations in the game, in many cases, not in every case, but in many cases offer some variety that can be welcome for a different approach. Like, so for me, that Michael Jordan dribble style, I'm totally fine with that over Kyrie Irving because having a really snappy forward push cross, I can work with that. I don't need the same side burst of the Kyrie Irving dribble style to play really, really well in this game, right? So normal leaner, normal two hop jumper, actually quite excellent. I do remember his shot being just fine. Uh, camera to shot, and maybe on very quick, it'll be even better. We haven't shot on very quick with this card yet. So yeah, Cam looks solid. Definitely want to give him that shooting shoe is the main thing I would say. That shooting shoe and that strength shoe. And I'm, you know, I'm whining about the strength, but actually this is fine because he can get over that 90 marker and with the speed, he can get way up there in speed. So this looks like a very good two guard for an affordable price. When I say very good, I mean, even compared to the affordable cards, he might, I mean, to the um, the free cards and the spark cards and like the playoff cards and, and locker codes and all that stuff, he might be able to hang. Uh, I will be doing a separate video for those Evos. So we'll see if he can hang with that dark matter, that free dark matter, Scotty Pippen. That's the main thing. All right, Lamar Odom, the last viable card, if I recall correctly. So I'm pretty sure he's the last viable card. So let's see here. Kai, so he's going to be 315,000 MT. Is that all? Is that lower than last week? I feel like I'm going to check real quick. I feel like Jalen Green was three. Oh, no. So he's 315 also. For some reason, I thought he was 350. All right. So 315, quite a steep price, 150,000 uh, VC. So that I believe is, let me see. I believe that's a $20 card, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's 20 bucks. Um, I think that's two. 999 packs what do you get for 999 if i i might be i might be bugging i think you get i haven't bought that's how long i haven't bought vc <laughs> i don't even remember the prices but any in any event uh maybe, maybe it's 40 bucks i don't know but quite the steep price for this card does he earn it let's go ahead and see so we're gonna look at him compared to his opal which i have used his opal solid I never thought his opal was super amazing because he just didn't do anything particularly great. Now we see here, we see here um, stat wise, he's actually quite close to the opal. Just a nice solid upgrade across the board that overall probably feels pretty good. But I don't see too many thresholds being crossed here with these stat upgrades. So these are all just nice to haves. Animation wise is going to be very important. Okay. Now, this Jamal Murray with the Kyrie Irving, I like this a lot more than the Jamal Murray with the Kobe Bryant. And it's because the Jamal Murray signature size up has very quick, tight handles. And the ability to burst out of those quick, tight handles is a plus. That's why, for me, it's a case by case basis, right? Trey Escape over Durant Escape. This is a notable upgrade right here. Uh, John Wall moving crossover over Allen Iverson crossover. This is another notable upgrade right here. Moving behind the back, Steph over Trey Young. This is not an upgrade. This is a lateral up, um, change. So the thing about the Trey Young moving behind the back is when you're going towards the basket, it gives you a big speed boost, which is really good, by the way. Like people think the Jamal Murray is the only um, 
behind the back in the game that's good. No, 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 no. It's the best behind the back in the game, but it is not the only behind the back in the game that's good. Other behind the backs offer different things. And this Trey Young offers the ability to go directly towards the basket with like a speed boost, like an old school 2K. We got, this is the old behind the back that we always used to use in the game before we got a behind, behind the back that generated three-pointer so well. So this is the old behind the back you would have put on in every other 2K. And it's really, really good, especially on a 6'10 card, right? So, you know, uh, Penny Spin is an upgrade. I, again, Curry Slide is fine. But Curry Slide is not as good as generating threes as Trey Escape. I mean, as Trey behind the back is as putting you towards the basket. So it's a bit of a trade-off for, like, the third best behind the back versus, uh, you know, for, for creating threes versus the best behind the back for going to the basket. I think that's a side trade. All right. Ooh, he gets Jokic Hop Jumper. What are, guys, what am I telling y'all? You can tell what they think is good because they think this is an upgrade over normal two, which is fantastic. That, that Jokic hop jumper is crazy. Uh, I might, can you put this on the guard? I'm going to find out if I can put this on the guard. I haven't even thought about that. Putting that hop jumper on the guard, I might mess with it because it is so, so good. The ball is so high up over your head when you shoot that. Pro two leaner, absolutely love that. And quickly look at his uh, badges. I don't think, let's see what the upgrades are. Go ahead and look at new gen. Spot finder, Hall of Fame, three points. And he gets open looks, which is a big upgrade. Uh, I would imagine if you had that Odom card and you were using him before, that you would have uh, put that on him. But again, big, big upgrade him having that. Other than that, very, very similar badge-wise. Agent three going to Hall of Fame is pretty good, especially because... Oh, no, he has a 95 three-pointer. I mean, honestly, this is a fantastic card, guys. This, is, this card is elite. Like, this is one of the best... This... I might be going crazy. I think this might be the best buyable card. I would say since Artist Gilmore. Art, when Artist Gilmore was buyable, he was legitimately a top five center in the game and arguably higher than that. And that was the best buyable card we had ever gotten because he was basically the same as a, getting a, an available Mark Eaton. This here... To me is a is the second version of that the only thing is this jumper i have shot this jumper it's okay it did not blow me away um it is not but it also didn't occur to me like oh i can't use that card it's just a very ordinary jumper in 2k which is fine but at everything else like movement wise this card is outstanding size wise lamar odom always has a very very good frame um and then shoot, and then stats wise, he's just off the charts, really, because he's just an upgrade over to Opal, which was already very good, had no deficiencies as an Opal, and now all of his pluses became. He went from the mid nineties to the high nineties and the low nineties to the mid nineties, and virtually everything. So with the right shoe, you can push this guy towards almost ninety nine overall territory because you can give him a ninety nine three, a ninety eight mid, right? You can give him a um, ninety nine driving dunk if you want. You can give him a 98 strength if you want. So, yeah, this card looks like he's pretty good, I have to say. Very, very good card that we will be looking at right here. All right, so we're going to keep this clean and get rid of those. But, yeah, out of the buyable cards, just a quick overview. Duncan, kind of a waste of time in my opinion. Uh, Miles and Cam Reddish are fine, but that Lamar Odom is pretty solid. All right, so now we're going to go from the bottom to the top, in my opinion, or at least what the guess would be for the um, Dark Matter cards. And we'll do the 100 overall separately, and then we'll do LeBron. So, actually, we'll do the free cards, and then we'll do LeBron. All righty, so Ray Allen, maybe I should do the free cards in a video with the Evos. Mm, I don't know. I'll decide along the way. We'll see how long this video takes. <laughs> we're at... Uh, we're at 19 minutes already, so I might, I might wind up separating these two. So, um, Ray Allen. So, my problem with Ray Allen, 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, just any can't play the one. So, this is a very undersized card at the two when, you know, starting size is 6'6". Six, six. And is that a big, big dif difference? Uh, I think at this stage in the game, I don't love it. He does have an 88 strength, which is a big plus. Because he can get over 90 strength. I mean, he, he can hold his own against more matchups than if he was smaller. And I think he's, so I do think he's usable at this size. But the problem is, 
Ray also doesn't have like a super broken jumper or anything. Oh, wait a minute. Kyle Corver base. Hold on. Record scratch noise. Hold up. Wait a minute. Is that new? Or did he always have Corver base? Or did he have his own base? Hold up. Okay. That could be a very, very, very big upgrade from Mr. Ray Allen. Let me go ahead and adjust my expectations for Jesus Shuttlesworth over here. All right. So he's got the 99 three pointer, which we expect. Now we need to see behind the back, pro behind the back. This could be the Jamal Murray. If this is the Jamal Murray, forget everything I said leading up to this. This card might be fantastic because he can move however you need to move. With that Kyle Corver base, his release might be in that upper tier Glenn Rice, Dr. J area, right? I say Glenn Rice because he's the best, but Dr. J is fantastic, his release. And if he is in that zone, that's a different story. Because this now becomes a card that you can put at the two, use a LeBron style card at the one, whatever. Somebody, you guys all have somebody tall at the one that you can use. A Ben Simmons, a Jokic, whoever. Just somebody tall that you can use to, to be more of a defender and a slasher and a playmaker in terms of uh, create, you know bringing the ball up court and stuff like that. But when you talk about scoring... If that release is as big of an upgrade as it looks like it might be on paper because of what Mr. Corver brings to the table, with these SIGs, and we see some incredible SIGs here, right? John Wall moving across. You see you see it, the, the usual suspects. Chris Paul has he, right? Um, pro moving step back. I don't know what's going on with that. The Devin Booker, because Devin Booker's step back is nothing to write home about. Um, so that is a little bit of a bummer, the pro moving step back. But everything else, um, if this behind the back is the Jamal Murray, then you're talking about a card that is in that upper echelon of shot creation, which I value very, very much. Um, so, yeah, Kyrie Irving, Dribble Style, Steve Francis, Trey Escape, you know the story there. Pro 2 leaner, normal hop jumper, excellent uh, curry layup package, and all the dunks in the world. And it, when it comes to badges, he is not wanting for anything. So, yeah, I, I thought this card was actually going to be bad because the Opal, I, I literally never saw. I've never seen anyone use the Opal. Um, I have the Opal from the season pass, and I have he has never set foot on a squad. So, you know, we shall see if Mr. Ray Allen can hold his own on the court. But that Kyle Korver jump shot upgrade could be a very, very big deal. Alrighty, Big Z, what's the speed? 89 speed, excellent. And what's the shot? 95 three-pointer. So I saw some people saying Big Z was going to be garbage. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. He's a 7-3 seven, seven, card with a 95 three-pointer. I don't know what game you guys are playing, but in my 2K, that's all great news. Uh, Kent Bazemore should be fine as a base for a 7-3 card. Uh, Kemba escaped for some reason. Uh, I don't know why this card's so crazy. This is a really, really good-looking card. Um and Jokic hop jumper. This looks like one of the best centers in the game. I don't know. Let's see what the comment section is saying. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is right. Exactly. If the, everybody thinks this is good. So this is why I don't put like final judgment on cards before, um, before we see the animation. Cause I don't know what they're going to do to him. He's got 98 strength, 89 speed. He's seven foot three. He's got 95 three pointer. Uh, what, what, what more do we need to discuss? Right. I, I would definitely say give him handles for days and hyperdrive, but this card, the great thing about this card is if you pull him and you didn't get Wemby, you can stand up to Wemby with this card. Uh, now, getting this card, who knows how ridiculously rare this card is going to be. But I will say, if somebody's running Wemby at you and you didn't win the Wemby sweepstakes last week, you hope is on the horizon because if you're using an outdated center like the person making this video for you guys right now, <laughs> and you didn't get Wemby, and you, for some reason, wanted to play this game online against other human beings at this time of the year, Big Z should be apps. Not only hold his own, he should be great because he's looking fantastic across the board. Those, you know, handles for days in hyperdrive, I would definitely give him. He doesn't need anything. Oh, absolutely, Space Creator. With that Jokic hop jumper, you 100% want to give him Space Creator. And the main thing with Space Creator here, in the mid-range, you don't need it. But if you're hopping behind the three-point line, which is so good, by the way, 
I, I can't like that's one of those moves. I can't believe I can consistently do that online, but I absolutely can consistently do hop jumpers behind the three point line with Jokic. Right. So with Big Z, if you want to be able to hop behind the three point line, you definitely want that space creator working for you. He looks outstanding. Cade Cunningham. So here's the thing. Does he have a leaner? He sure does. Yay. K Cade Cunningham finally gets a leaner. Um, and pro two hop jumper. Unfortunate. He's got his own shot. His shot's really, really good, though. So that is fine. Moving behind the back pro. I expect that to be the Jamal Murray or something very close to it. Uh, Devin Booker moving crossover. Not the best. Combo moves Devin Booker. Pretty good. Trey escape. Solid. Uh, not solid. Great. John Moran, six size up. That's one we'll be talking about with the Kyrie Irving dribble style. That helps that I'm along a lot. John Wall step back. This car has been great all year. His amethyst was, I did not realize how good his amethyst was until months later. Like I knew he was a six, seven card with a, with a good jumper. So he was good. But until I really started learning how to dribble in this game, I didn't realize that that amethyst was actually one of the best point guards in the game for almost, I don't know. I don't remember when he came out, but I would say he was better than several diamonds in the game that came out way after him and, and several pink diamonds that came out way after him. That's how good his amethyst card was. And I was watching comp games and I was like, man, they're still using that Cade Cunningham. That's interesting. And like for money, you know, the best players in the game playing for money are using Cade Cunningham. That's because he was that good. And now that he has a leaner, this guy, if uh, his if his behind the back is Jamal Murray, I got to see what Jamal Murray looks like with his leaner um, at the very top level, because this guy could be in the running for best point guard in the game depending on how all of that comes together, but I have not used his opal, so I don't know what that behind the back into it looks like. And, and I bring that up because the Jamal Murray behind the back is the best three creating move in the game, right? To create threes. Um, the next best is probably the John Wall hop back. So the, the animation transition between the behind the back and the shot matters. It's not just if the shot is quick, it's how quickly does it get up after doing that behind the back. That's why I'm not as high on LeBron James at point guard because the shot for LeBron James goes up very slowly. I think it might be the same thing that's in like cards that catch the ball and put it up kind of slow, right? It might be that same thing that transfer that dip. Kevin Cruz talks about this, right? The dip in the animation. Um, does that cause a delay or does something else cause a delay? Maybe the catapult motion causes a delay between that behind the back and the launch cards that bring up the ball either right in front of their face or right over their head, like right away and the ball doesn't go all the way below their waist, when they hit that behind the back, that ball is out of there, right? So those cards are going to be your best cards for shooting off of that dribble. And the best thing about Shea and Dr. J, why they are closer to a Glenn Rice, who has the patty base, because that thing is up there quickly. The thing about the patty base is that it's also very, very hard to contest. You can be standing right in front of him. You don't get a shot contest. I hope next year they take that out the game. I think that's actually pretty silly um jump shot bases that just get a way better contest i understand the difference but not a difference as large as large as the patty mills all right sermon over Cade cunningham looks fantastic so far this set is looking like a w you think this set is mid i'd love to have a conversation about it because the available card uh, dark matter and lamar Odom looks great and then Cade and ray allen with that corver base that changes that completely changes my mind actually before we get out of here i want to look real quick and see what the comments are saying about this card if they've picked up on the corber base um yep yep see they know they yep yep the comment section knows what's up okay now we don't uh, i don't know you know how good the comment section is in here but the fact that they're all reacting to that corber base makes me feel pretty good about my assertion there Alrighty, so we are going to do these reward cards in the next one partially because we have those evil cards to talk about as well so the Evo cards and these reward cards will all be in the next video. And so for the rest of this, we'll be talking about LeBron James and 100 overalls. So first, let's talk about the 100 overalls in Jimmy Butler and AD. Uh, AD, what animation changes did he get? Let's go ahead and look at his Dark Matter. And all right, let me just take a, a quick second to complain. I apologize, guys. Just a quick second. I truly dislike that we are getting so many of the same players this year. That just is a bummer for the creativity of the mode. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. That's it. Moving on. All right. So stats-wise, no major upgrades here. 
just an overall okay he's 99 everything before he was basically 95 everything so it's like all right from 95 to 99 do those stats matter in some cases yes in some cases not as much um but across so like going from a 98 interior d to 99 i don't think you'll feel that but going from a you know 94 3 to a 99 3 that is a difference i do think you actually feel animation wise uh upgraded from kobe bryant to kyrie irving dribble style which is good news for him james harden escape to trey escape is a massive upgrade one of the biggest upgrades here jimmy butler to chris paul moving step back is also a massive upgrade the shot is exactly the same though all right Moving behind the back from Harden to probably Jamal Murray is an upgrade. Is it a massive upgrade? Here, I don't think it's a massive upgrade. I'll tell you exactly why. The Jamal Murray is a significant step up over the James Harden. However, on bigger cards, the James Harden creates more space than it does on smaller cards. On small cards, that little step that he takes isn't that big of a deal. But on a bigger, taller card, that step is much more noticeable and brings the, the James Harden closer to the Jamal Murray. And I would actually imagine it might be the case that on, say if you had a card that was seven foot four, not going quite as far might even be to an advantage because if the shot was fast enough, you just want to get off of the alignment of the offensive player. You don't need to dribble behind your back and, you know, dribble into 2K25. You just need to you know move enough that the offensive player is offline particularly off of an l2 cancel behind the back that's the real use you're running one direction you l2 cancel behind the back and you get your shot up so the speed that the shot goes up and the fact that you are changing directions is more important than how far you're going if you're tall enough if you're short you need more space because even if somebody's beat they can just press y or triangle and get back in the play because you're just too small to avoid that contest all right back to anthony davis pro two leaner up from normal leaner and he still retains that nikola Jokic. so yeah i mean this card is absolutely amazing except for the fact that the jumper is good not great and I, that's not a complaint about the jumper the jumper is good it's just not you know you get out of bed honey look at this jumper right it's, it's just solid it's fine um jimmy butler let's see what change with jimmy so i can see a lot of changes already because i've used every jimmy butler card in the game and uh he is looking good right here but let's go ahead and compare him to the free dark matter we all got so shot important uh animations did they change it nope same shot which means this dark matter i just don't know how much better he's gonna be um because that was, that's the only thing holding jimmy back it, it's and the shot's not even bad i like jimmy butler's jumper i think his shot's just fine but is it an elite shot no he needs a better shot base for that shot to really be elite so his size up versus d rose is that an upgrade absolutely michael jordan dribble style to kyrie irving is that an upgrade absolutely trey escape over pro another upgrade uh mitchell moving crossover another upgrade but i felt like i could move around just fine with jimmy butler by working around the sigs that he had i did not struggle to create a oh, and devin booker leaning to pro 2 i do not like this this is not an upgrade 2k that's not an upgrade devin booker's lean is fantastic never do this again never do this again this is terrible don't trade me one fantastic leaner for another one when no this one's really 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 good and it's really good on jimmy butler his release with the devin booker is is actually what i was about to get to the thing about jimmy butler and i thought about putting out a tutorial for him for this reason his leaner is so good it is like devin booker level almost because he has a devin booker leaner right and with his shot in particular it's just as easy to see the shot cue as Devin Booker but listen is this an upgrade yes it is I do not like the pro two leaner on Jimmy over the Devin Booker at least I don't like the idea of it I'd have to use this myself probably never will unless somebody gives me a gameplay because there's no way I'm winding up with this card but th these are upgrades that Jimmy didn't necessarily need um so I don't know I don't know this is interesting because he's a little bit different of a card but in most ways he is the same and yeah it's fine it's fine uh this is not in my opinion this is a strange pick for 100 overall to be honest with you very very strange 100 overall all right time for the lebron james is, 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 is. let's see what lebron is bringing to the table from that next opal level up did we look at the other opal i don't think we did 
So let's go ahead and grab that. And we know all of these middle dark matters are going to be identical. And we've got the 100 overall, and we've got the GOAT LeBron. I'm actually going to start with the GOAT card just to see what they did. So obviously 99 everything. Terrence Mann base with his upper. So that should be very, very good. And then he has all of the best SIGs in the game with all 99 everything on a LeBron James frame. And you can play point guard. So that is what it is. For those of you in Nicole the Jokic hop jumper, which they clearly think is the best in the game. Pro 2 leaner, which they clearly think is the best in the game. So... Yeah, there you go. Um, Goat LeBron James, everything you expected him to be. What about this one? Animation-wise, he's got his own base. So now I'm very curious how this card measures up to this guy. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see the Opal. What did they give him? They did not give him Trey Escape. That is very surprising. So now I got to compare him to the other Opal, which is going to be very difficult because there are so many. Look at how many. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I already complained about it. I'm not going to do it. But man, man, oh, man. All right. There we go. So him compared to the 97, big shooting upgrade. And after the big shooting upgrade, the rest of these upgrades aren't a big deal. It's just a big shooting upgrade. Everything else is exactly the same. All right. So they are the same card with basically a shooting buff. Cool. No major differences there. All right. The dark matter. <laughs> I want to compare the dark matter to the 100 overall. And since there are two 100 overalls, I have to be careful to avoid the other one. All right. There we go. So he's got a little bit of a shooting upgrade. Everything else is very, very close because the card was already very, very juiced. And you see here, even the intangibles are up there to like make it look more different than it is. But this is a distance you can close with a shoe. And I don't see anything else that you even need to upgrade. So statistically, they are pretty much identical. Animation-wise, they are also identical. This 100 overall is a complete scam <laughs> i'm sorry this is a scam 100 overall i cannot tell the difference between these two cards there's nothing because the difference is between these two cards you can just close with a shoe you got hall of fame challenger versus gold challenger that's cool uh hall of fame green machine so i mean he's got a few extra hoff badges hall of fame handles for days you will feel hall of fame unpluckable will probably make a bit of a difference I don't like this. The Dark Matter should have Hall of Fame bailout. This is LeBron James. Dark Matter LeBron James should come with Hall of Fame bailout. That's that's Bush League. That's that's just making it so that you have something you can say you upgraded. Um, same thing even with like Back Down Punisher. What? The, this guy's not strong enough? Like, come on. What are we doing? So, yeah. I mean, some some just basically extra Hoff badges is the only difference between these two cards, which is a little bit on the sad side, I'm not even gonna lie. It's a little. This man, I, you know what? I'm not gonna complain anymore, guys. We're just gonna say overall, the set looks pretty good. This was exactly what we expected it to be. The lone, the two exceptions, honestly, on the day that I'm a little surprised by. Lamar Odom got juiced. He looks really good outside of his jumper not being one of the best jumpers in the game. Uh, the there are no troll cards out of the pulls when it comes to the dark matters and big z looks like he got the treatment as well so the lebron james cards are 100 exactly what we expected i think they are making a massive mistake i said i wouldn't complain this is not a complaint this is just analysis these 100 overalls are not good these are not that good these cards like this is literally just the dark matter card with a couple of half badges that to me is a waste of resources completely and um, I would love to see these cards start getting, and it's not like we're going to get these cards anyway, right? Like these cards are super duper rare, but I, even these dark matters, I would love to see these dark matters get shot base upgrades. Just don't make it as good of a shot base upgrade, but there's no reason like this, these cards are mostly a waste and this card is a complete waste of time. So, you know, listen, if you get, if you pull a LeBron James card, you got a great small forward, but that's kind of it at the end of the day. If you have a small forward whose jump shot you like a lot better than LeBron James, 
I'm not even going to try and talk you out of it because the bottom line is his jumper, I think for earlier in the year, it was fine. But his gather on his jumper is a mood killer, guys. That is a vibe killer. Like his, his gather is a significant negative, which is why I think he plays so much better at the small forward than at the point guard because I do not want that shot gather on my point guard, especially with Shaq and Wemby running out there playing defense. I need that thing to go up. That having been said, thank you guys for all the support you've shown to this channel up until now. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you in the next one very shortly as we discuss these Evo cards and these reward cards. All right, guys. Peace.